Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical, and today for you guys, I'm going to be doing a reaction to the Kingdom Hearts Key secret episode. Um, so in case you guys don't know, the secret episode for Kingdom Hearts Key is now out. It actually released last night. Um, but however, when it released and I was like still up, it was quite late at night, the English translations were not out, and now they're finally out, so I'm ready to do a reaction to it. I have not yet seen the secret episode. I wanted to wait until the English translation was out to actually watch the cutscene. I actually do know of one thing that happens within the cutscene itself. Apparently Sora is mentioned and uh, he's actually mentioned by Maleficent. However though, that is all I know. So uh, I'm going to be doing a reaction to this cutscene today. That means that I am going to be giving my thoughts and uh, doing a discussion about the secret episode tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. However guys, without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Unchained Zero. So yeah, apparently this episode is called Unchained Zero. Hello? What is this? Oh, okay. It's, are these all of the flashbacks of like what the player's been through? Notably with Skold and Ephemera. Yeah, okay. Golden Ephemera, like in all of those. The player always looks so damn happy. Ephemera, Skull. What happened? Okay, so the player's not dead? I... Did you have that dream again? Hello? Wait. Dream? It looks like uh, you've had it over and over ever since that day. Are you okay? That day? Whoa. Why did you enter the dandelions? And you took the skulls and the so as you went to join them. You've been having weird dreams from time to time. The play is not actually dead! It was just a dream, but what was I doing sleeping in a place like this? Okay, so just in case you guys don't know, just, just to like run you up to speed. So Lady Arva, she is the foreteller that led this group called the Dandelions. And her idea was to not actually get her union involved in the ancient Keyblade War that was predicted to happen. So the Dandelions, their goal was to actually escape into the outer worlds to avoid being involved in the Keyblade War. This means that the other four unions, um, they were all involved in the Keyblade War apart from Lady Arva's union. So it appears to be that the Keyblade War that we saw with, with like our player right there was just a dream because this player right here joined the Dandelions, meaning that she right here obviously escaped into an outer world, but she's been having these very vivid dreams. The player's been having these very vivid dreams um, of what actually happened in the Keyblade War and stuff. So that's that's interesting. Very interesting. This is some crazy shit. We can't get through this, can we? If only we had wings too, right? <laughs> okay, let's head home. Dude, this is like Kingdom Hearts key, please. Please. So this cutscene right here is the last part of the Kingdom Hearts key secret episode. And this is where apparently it starts to get quite good. So let's, let's, let's take a look at this. All right, so we have Maleficent. It seems it went well. <laughs> 
Even so, where has that fool gone now? What fool should, could she be talking about? Oh well, not even Sora and his friends can meddle in this world. Not when new citizens won't get in. Oh shit. This is get this is getting too fucking real, dude. This is getting too fucking real, man. And there it is again, reconnect Kingdom Hearts. As you guys probably know, once you finish like the secret episodes of many of the different Kingdom Hearts games, that thing appears all the time. So there's gotta be a meaning behind the whole reconnect thing. Um, but however guys, that is my reaction to the secret episode. All I gotta say is, holy shit. I was thinking about this last night, but Kingdom Hearts Key has literally made the Kingdom Hearts story a million times more confusing than it already was. If you think about it, you know, like when Kingdom Hearts Key first came out, Everyone was like, yo, is this even, like, connected to the story? It's this, like, 2D, like, random, cute-looking Kingdom Hearts game. And now, of course, three years later, we're sitting here with the game pretty much, like, finished. Scratching our heads, wondering, how the fuck does this all come together? What the fuck is happening, dude? It's absolutely nuts. But, uh, this is the thing that I love about Kingdom Hearts, man. It always gets us thinking and stuff, so, um... I want to say a very, very big, quick shout out to 2KH Insider for all the work that they've put into, uh, towards, of course, making these English cutscenes for the people who don't actually play Kingdom Hearts Key. But, of course, you guys are giving us a chance to actually still get involved with the story by translating all of these cutscenes for us. So, massive thank you to you guys. You are awesome. However, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Like I said at the start of this video, I will be getting out my full thoughts and in-depth discussion about the secret episode tomorrow. For the time being, hopefully you've enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.